What's going on YouTube world, man? I know I'm hitting you fast into a bunch of releases. I'm trying to get all this information out to you as quickly as humanly possible with everything else I have going on. So yeah, I'm not here to give you excuses or anything like that. This is what I signed up for. So here we bringing it to you. And uh, yeah, the Atlas. Now, funny thing is, uh, I had a bowl the tournament uh, like the past weekend and I didn't have any, I didn't bring any balls. I didn't expect a bowl, but I showed up and like after the tournament I started and they started a little late, uh, I practiced the lawn and I jumped in, but I didn't have any balls on surface. So I ran to the shop and he had luckily just <laughs> knocked this one out and I threw it the first game. 230, 268, right out of the box. Uh, it's, a, it's a fair amount of value on the lane. So this one, it, so far so good, man, at uh, uh, Bolero Tamarack. Uh, and I really, really liked it. So the Columbia 300 hasn't really seen a top end ASIM solid in a long time. So we're gonna throw it against the mindset. That's pretty much like one of my benchmark not benchmark, but one of my staple ASIM solids in my bag. So I want to see how it compares uh, to this. And I do believe the numbers are a little bit different. I'll go ahead and put those here somewhere. Uh, but yeah, layout always the same, uh, 60 by four and a half, excuse me, 60 by four and a half by 30. Uh, and yeah, man, that's just my go-to. And as new people roll into the channel, you can go back to any of my past videos, uh, probably at least within the last year, all the same layouts. So that's it. You like the jerseys, like this one. Dimensions, this was a really, again, hot seller. We got some new designs coming, uh, if it's not already out now. But yeah, so if you are in the South Florida area, man, Bulls Edge Pro Shop, go check them out. Them boys, again, they just do me right. Uh, and I really, again, appreciate Tony and Roger, man, the, 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 the sacrifice they made coming in a little bit early to help me knock some of this stuff out. Uh, again, a lot of this doesn't happen without the support of, of that shop. Uh, so, yeah, shout out to you guys. Um, and yeah, man, T-shirts still available. Use the links below. Jerseys, if you like the ball, use it below as well. But yeah, man, we gotta. So, as you can see, uh, my mic died. Uh, <laughs> I haven't really had that issue before uh, with my transmitter, uh, actually not having a battery. But like I was saying, um, I, I threw it in, in the tournament, uh, looked great, um, and then it eventually went away. Um, again, I hadn't thrown it a ton, so once, once I saw it losing a, a little too much energy, you know, I just, you know, I didn't really want to gamble uh, any further because I just didn't know. Uh, but yeah, man, after again throwing it here. Um, and seeing what it what it's doing from a little bit straighter, uh, it was it started to move, especially from again this particular zone. Uh, and then as I pick up the mindset, it's like it hooks even more. And if you saw the numbers in the beginning of the video, uh, this one is is a lot lower RG, so it's supposed to read the lane a lot sooner, um, and it's more intermediate diff uh, as well. So again, this is probably going to be a combination of you know, especially from right here, it's not a lot of oil it's probably gonna tumble a lot forward. Uh, it's gonna lose a lot of energy. So yeah, that's what really what I saw a lot of. Um, and that, throughout the course of the video, you'll start to see, uh, you know, me kind of figuring out what I need to do to get it to uh, roll a little bit better. Uh, but both of these balls are big, strong pieces. Uh, so I really had to manipulate my hand a lot more to get this, these balls to the pocket and actually, you know, get to go through the pins. So you'll see over the course of the next couple shots here, uh, where I kind of just bring 10. Um, when I stand straighter and then start to move left, um, I have to progressively move, you know, drop my speed. Um, and again, it's a lot of, you know, have to get around the ball and drop my speed to, again, get the ball to finish correctly. Uh, if I try to keep throwing it as hard as I was and all the friction, um, when I'm standing closer to the right, you know, it, the ball is never going to see it. And there's a couple shots here where it just doesn't do what I wanted to do. Unlike that shot, that shot looked beautiful. Uh, and that's when, again, I'm kind of explaining some things here uh, where I had to adjust my hand position actually. So before when I'm just a little more up the back of it, I keep my hand, you know, very, I guess in front of me, uh, like, and, and I, you saw that visualization. Um, but when I get my hand to the side of the ball, uh, that's when, again, I get a little more motion uh, down lane. 
And so it's just getting matching up with the speed right now. Like that's what a lot of my struggle is to carry currently because it's not a ton of oil. Like these balls are, they need to, again, I have to help it uh, make the corner. Uh, and, and again, that's just, it's part of that me starting to the right and then moving to the left. I have to really take my hand out of it and don't hit up on a ball a ton when I'm standing right. And then as I progressively move left and left and left, I have to then remember, remember, man, like, hey, put your fingers in the ball, cuz. <laughs> so that's, you know, this is what you see, see here for real. And again, towards the end of the video, I really started getting on it and getting comfortable. And I'm like, oh, these balls do hook. Because uh, right here, right now, like, oh, they barely finishing light shakers. Um, again, that's because I'm doing so many different things at times. It makes it like, I, I, for, I don't say I forget, but like, you know, I, I stopped putting my fingers in the ball. So these shots here, it broke loose on me. I put, put a little more hand in the ball. But again, the speed was too slow now. So it, these are all the different factors um, that play through my head when I'm making all these different adjustments. Uh, because there's so many different things you can do um, as a bowler and when you're facing different conditions. So my initial, you know, a lot of my thoughts here is that this ball is definitely cleaner than the mindset. Um, that the Atlas definitely, you know, again, just travels a little bit further um, where the, the mindset definitely picks up in the middle. Uh, <clears throat> but for house shots, house shots specifically, I can definitely... Um, see myself leaning towards the atlas a little bit more especially if i'm it's going to be a higher friction center um, because again i think this ball's going to retain a little more energy and here in a moment you're going to see me start getting on it and getting to the friction and, and seeing this atlas like really do what it was designed to do um and i just it's a blue ball like it looks really good going down the lane so again i'm i am definitely becoming more and more of a fan uh, and I'll definitely um, do a follow-up video with this one with the Atlas, probably versus the DNA. When I look at the numbers, I think it makes a lot more sense to me uh, to compare that one. Um, if you guys have any other suggestions on what I should compare to, um, I'm open to that. Uh, the only, again, big ball that I don't currently have from from uh, SPI is like the reality. Um, I know the reality is something I'm, I might just have to make the investment into uh, because that's a staple. Uh, for again just <laughs> the brand it itself uh but yeah uh, again throughout the the course of this particular video though um it was just it was a little touchy um but it was more so because of the hand like i wasn't lifting or hitting up on a ball enough uh especially once i moved left um and so once again i did then again both all of these balls uh, both of them started to shape correctly and that's that's a huge key um, most most people, right? You know, if they're having an off day, you know, then then it's the ball's fault. No, it, it's definitely me. Um, and again, everything rolled a ton better once I figured out what I was doing, what I needed to do uh, to be successful in the lane. So, I hope you enjoyed all of this, man. Like again, this is not the ideal conditions by any stretch of the imagination. Um, these lanes uh, have been played on. Uh, but it was only, you know, like two games and a lot of the people were who bowled on this before me um, Threw the ball very very straight, right? It wasn't a lot of red rate on this pair. That's why the middle was so souped um, Because nobody was there at all like there's just pretty much everybody that was typically down and in but going in wrapping this thing up uh, this was again like So many rocks coming out if you had a mindset and if it's a little too early for you, a little too forward, then something like the Atlas will make a little sense or like the DNA, uh, depending on the rev rate. Um, if you, again, are a little bit more up the lane, um, you want something that's gonna, again, handle the volume, this is definitely the way to go. Um, you, you really can't go wrong, especially if you're a, a top speed fan. Uh, these are very, very similar. Uh, as far as you know shape I feel like the, of course the top speed is a pearl right so it's gonna hook a ton more but if you if you ever touched and put surface on the top speed like you could see uh, how they got a little bit closer um, but again one two punch with the top speed if you guys want to see that video let me know I know I have to do some arsenal videos here very very soon um, what's in a bag I'm, I'm just waiting on this last this last group of balls 
to to come out and then we will definitely uh start doing some arsenals um what's my you know main six and then i might even do one per brand um because again there's just a lot of balls and each brand is really complete right now there's a lot of options uh for everybody if you're a columbia 300 person track person hammer person brunswick person it's complete arsenals out here now so hope you enjoyed it man and until next time